We turn now to Manuel Borjorquez, who's in Nuevo Laredo, Mexico. Uh, Manny, you have an interesting setup this morning. Explain where you and your cameraman are standing. That's right. As you've mentioned, I'm standing in Nuevo Laredo on the Mexican side of the border. Our cameraman is on the U.S. side in Laredo, Texas. And you can see what's in between us here, the Rio Grande, a natural barrier that can deter border crossers. But just take a look at the wide expanse here, how much water is moving through. Of course, it fluctuates, but it should give you an idea of some of the challenges of putting a wall in an area like this. Another challenge that we heard about in your piece, parts of the wall would have to be built on private property. What's been the reaction from Americans who are actually living near the border? Well, it really depends on who you ask. You have a lot of ranchers in some of the more rural areas who are sick, they will tell you, of all the problems associated with border crossings and the uh, illegal trade of drugs, of the trash on their land, of even finding bodies of their land on their land, of being afraid to even go outside. At the same time, though, they are weighing the other possibility, which is that if they have land on the border, uh, the government, if this proposed wall really does happen, may have to build on there and uh, have to figure out a way to maybe through eminent domain try to take some of that property. Uh, so it's really a double-edged sword here uh, and the opinion really is, is there are varied opinions and it really depends on who you ask. There are people who say this is the right way, people who say it's the wrong way, and people who say let's wait and see because we don't know how a wall would work at a crossing like this one here in Laredo. And Manny, you also spoke with the mayor of Laredo, Texas about how this wall could impact trade with Mexico. What do you tell you about that? That's right. So there are, as you know, many border communities that do a lot of trade with Mexico, this being one of the uh, most important land ports for the U.S. and Mexico. The mayor says Laredo does about $200 billion worth of trade with people on this side of the border, and he feels some of that would be in jeopardy if you erect a wall here. But he's also concerned, and a lot of people are on both sides, about the talk of renegotiating NAFTA, the free trade agreement between Mexico, the U.S., and Canada. They're not sure exactly how that will play out. So definitely a lot of questions uh, along the border here as the president begins to take some of these actions that he had talked about on the campaign trail. Manuel Bojorquez for us. Thank you, Manny. Thank you.